Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome to Hazards and Hijinks, the live action fantasy role playing improv comedy show. My name is Hero Carlisle, and I am your dungeon master this Friday night. Welcome! If you've never seen one of our shows before, Thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, welcome again. We are so happy you are here. We know either way you could be anywhere on a Friday night and we are so very happy you decided to be here with us. Boy, howdy do we have a great show planned for you. Yes, we have some interesting and exciting stuff ready for you. We have gathered together some of our best adventurers, and we are ready to throw them into the most dangerous scenarios that the Kingdom of Improvia has to offer. For those of you who are new, and this is the first time you've ever seen one of our shows, what we do is we go to our social media to put together an adventure unlike any other, built by your suggestions. And this week, we have done a doozy of that. Yes, we are testing something new. This is our Meat Grinder show. Yes, yes, yes. For those of you not familiar with the term, that is an old school role-playing term that means a really, 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 really hard dungeon. And that's what we have for our adventurers tonight. A really hard quest, one that will test their skill, their wits, and their limits. Will they survive? Who knows? What will they be going up against tonight? Well, as voted by you, first, they will be taking on a monster mash. Yes, you threw so many silly monsters at me that I didn't know what to do with myself. So I picked them all. That's right. We have literally dozens of monsters that we have to chop our way through tonight. And it is going to be so much fun. Also, we threw up who was the antagonist tonight. And by an overwhelming number, you voted against your best judgment for a thieves guild and when you picked oh you had the choice to pick the name of this thieves guild and you did not disappoint lovely viewers you selected the name of the sneaky takers so we are going to be taking on the sneaky takers tonight i can't wait and finally 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 Oh no, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise, mostly because I have to explain some other stuff. But we have some really excited stuff for you. I can't wait, let's get started. Let's get down to business. Now, you may have noticed that this show is coming to you live through the internet. We are able to do this because, well, for one thing, we're all trapped at home, but mostly we're able to do it because of the generous donations of viewers like you. How, you ask, as you reach for your wallet? Well, it's actually really easy. You can go on over to Venmo and see that little, uh, uh, you can see that little identification right there that says, at Fancy Hobo Improv. You can Venmo us money at any time throughout the show, any donation would really help us out. It goes to help bring continued content. Like I said, we bring content every Friday and Saturday. And it goes to make sure you keep hazards and hijinks as well as Fancy Hobo pumping out all that great content. But we don't just make shows. No, when you donate to hazards and hijinks, you actually get to be part of the adventure. Every dollar donated has the opportunity to get you to be part of the show. That's right. We take your name or a pseudonym if you're not as bold, and we turn you into an NPC, a monster, a maiden, a mythic wizard, or other NPC named thing and throw you into the kingdom of improvia where you yourself can be part of the adventure we also have this super dope donation menu where you have donation suggestions that help add some interesting hazards and hijinks to the show itself. Starting off with our $5 donation, which is a health potion. That's right, you can donate a health potion to any player. Just throw $5, suggest a player's name, and bingo, bango, they get a health potion. If you don't include a player's name, I just randomly give it to the player I like the most, which is usually Phylos, unless he makes me mad. Also, let's move on to the $7 donation. I know it says deadly test, but it's supposed to say deadly trap. The deadly trap. What? What was that, Tony? You fixed that? You fixed, okay, thank you, Tony. We fixed that, ruining my joke. 
Anywho, a deadly trap. A deadly trap will be sprung on the players at random. Or if you wanted to be so vicious, you could type in who the trap will be sprung on and they will suffer the consequences. Next on the list, we have the $10 donation, which is the epic weapon. You can grant an epic weapon to a player of your choice, giving them the, the power to defeat their enemies and overcome the challenges that await them in the quest of this evening. Oh, but that's not all. You can also impose a terrible curse upon them for $12, twisting them body, <laughs> mind, and soul, forcing them to do whatever your dark and devious mind wants. That's right. You can tell me how you want to curse them, or you can leave it to my devious machinations, and I'll come up with a curse of my own. And the curse will only be broken when they make me laugh. And I never laugh. Finally, we have the $20 donation, also known as the Big Bad Evil Monster. All you have to do is throw down $20 on the table and I will summon a Big Bad Evil Monster to come out of nowhere and kick the ever-living shit out of the players. It's a lot of fun. Every time it happens, it completely derails the quest, ruining the adventure, and everyone has a terrible time. Isn't that what you want? I know that's entertainment where I come from, so please, Get out that wallet. Let's have ourselves some hazardous hijinks of a good time. It's an awful lot of fun. But that leads us in to what I was so eagerly anticipating uh, with bated breath that I could not contain myself that I had to tell you because the most exciting thing about tonight's Meat Grinder show is the fact that we are in the test kitchen. That's right, folks. We are in the test kitchen. I've noticed that you haven't been playing with my traps. That disappoints me. That hurts my feelings. I take that very personally. So I've decided to make traps all the more deadly. Ooh, we already have some health potions. I'll be sure to give those out. Thank you very much for the donations. As I was saying, I'm very upset and I'm going to fix it. So tonight we are making traps even deadlier. Traps are going to be explosive traps. What that means is we are going to be rolling two D4 die. Every time they come up on doubles, they are going to explode, hitting every member of the party, dealing damage to all of them. In addition, we are also going to be randomizing all of the dice so you don't have to get your vindictive kicks out unless you really, really want to. So all the die will be completely, all of the traps will be completely randomized so you don't have to have the blood on your innocent hands. Finally, we are dropping the price of the trap from $7 to $4. Dollars. That's right. We're dropping it down to four dollars. And lastly, if you get, if we buy six traps tonight, if you unlock six traps, you will unlock the super secret test kitchen reward. And I put it to you, our lovely viewers, whether or not we would have a naughty or nice trap kitchen reward a test kitchen not a trap kitchen now i'm doing it tony you see this just happens to everybody i get it i understand i feel I, I i'm not mad at you anymore anywho as i said we will get our test kitchen reward i said naughty or nice you said no i refuse and by a vote of 50 to 50 you said even so the only way to settle this is with our first d20 roll of the night so let's roll that d20 if it's 10 or lower naughty if it's 11 or higher nice god i hope nice let's roll that dice oh we have our first trap too oh this is exciting oh it's a 10 oh god naughty we're gonna see if you unlock the uh the test kitchen reward you devious monsters i think we're about ready now to make things all fair and balanced to our players we will also be having a buy one get one free sale for our health potions so every time you buy our heroes a health potion they'll actually be getting two tonight uh aren't i kind all right with all of that out of the way and i'll be reminding you throughout the night in the chat and in person about all of our deals, our wheels, and all of our spiels. But I think it's time to do the most important part of the show, and I'm going to rapid fire get through it, which is introduce our lovely adventurers for tonight. Ooh, we got rapid fires. Pow, 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 pow. All right, let's start things off with the audience favorite, Roberto Ferreras as Mac Duffy, the human druid. Yeah, I, I I can't uh, hear oh, you. Can you hear me now, ominous voice in the sky? 
Yes, sir, I can. Oh, well, that's, I mean, good, because I can always hear you. It's a little disconcerting, especially when you narrate my intimate moments. Well, stop having intimate moments and I'll stop narrating them. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Up next, let's introduce everyone's favorite doing double duty, coming back from next week's disastrous adventure. Put your hands together for Magneto Morgan as Ode Elfwig, the Dwarf Hunter. Hello, Kitty Vinks. Remember, thieving is very naughty. And while I'm not mad with you, I am disappointed. I'm mad with you. He's disappointed. Up next, put your eel hands together for Catherine McGagan as Snarla Blastwind, the Orc Bard. So we're fighting a, a thieves guild. Isn't that just my record label? Ooh, sick burn. Ooh, ooh. Give yourself two bonus health for that, girl. Ooh, give yourself right, two yeah, bonus yeah, health for that. A, I'll give it a go. There you go. There you That's go. Cool. That's how you do it. And finally, my personal favorite, put your hands together for Phil Nieto as Phylos the Thundering Deep, the Wyvern Wizard. Good evening, smelly humans. I hope I'm your favorite too. If I'm not, then I will do magic on you. As a Bad. slippery slope Bad into magic. chaos. There we are, there's our hero. So I think it's time to get this show uh, started. And we're gonna start the way we always do with a hearty huzzah. Join us in it, it makes you feel epic. And it's just the way to start on a Friday night. Count us down, we're gonna go three, two, one. So let's go, three, two, one, huzzah! huzzah! All right. Philo's found himself sitting alone on the wagon, his robes freshly pressed. Behind him, the bell still rang from the wizard's tower, graduation still ringing in his ears. He was uncertain as to what would happen next. A young wyvern with the whole world in front of him. The caravan was many wagons long, and he was just one of many wizards potentially going out to their doom or potentially going out to their fortune. On, on an unknown adventure, when beside him a large orc sat, offering him a can of paint, opening the lid. Well, <sighs> cheers. Cheers. Surprise, you graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know, because you use Counterspell for everything? Uh, to counter spells. Yeah, there's, there, there's the more flamboyant way to solve problems. The best offense is a good defense, they say. The best offense is to turn your opponent into glass. That's true, too. I don't know that spell. Yeah, and you never will, because we're done. Woo! He throws a spell book behind him. Ha! He slaps fire across the shoulder. Can you believe it? Just three months we'll be on the other side of this godforsaken desert and in the kingdom of Improbia. Three months in the desert with so many wonderful people like you. Oh, well, I can take my beer and my paint and go make friends with uh, the sorority. No. No, don't be ridiculous. Stay. Friend, what's your name? <laughs> Michael. Michael, I'm, I'm looking for like-minded wizards because I have a proposition. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. Well, as you know, I'm an orc. There aren't many orc wizards. No, because... No, that's true. No, go ahead, finish that sentence. I'd like to see, I'd like to hear what you have to say. I was just gonna say that usually uh, orcs in the, in the, you don't see many of them. They go into the, uh, the, 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 the martial classes more because of the, the, you know. Uh-huh. Nah, I'm just messing strong. with you. Yeah, we're all. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Anywho, anywho. 
and you see even fewer orc adventurers. But I come from a small town called Oakvale. And Oakvale is prime real estate. There are no adventurers where I'm from. None. There's tons of monsters, tons of dungeons, tons of tons of gold just waiting for some entrepreneurial adventurers to go down there and make a name for themselves, make a claim for themselves. Really? And, oh yeah. And so I'm looking for I'm looking for wizards with nothing to lose and everything to prove. What do you say? I think you found your man. I I've, I've <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing except this 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 staff and my wits and so mostly the staff. Well, then you're halfway there, my friend. Like I said, now you got a partner. Michael. Michael and Philos. Wizard friends Philos. to the end. Oh, friends to the end. Philos awoke to the sound of shattering glass as a rock was hurled through his window at the broken tankard tavern. This sound was followed quickly by the sound of shouting. This was the sound that everyone who slept in the broken tankard tavern woke to. The crowds amassed early and they stayed late. They chanted the same thing. We demand better. They chanted nonstop. They had chanted it for weeks. They had interspersed this occasionally with justice for Jeremy justice for Oakvale, justice for Hegemons, or old Tobias for justice. But predominantly it was, we demand better. The crowd had gathered to express their disdain for the poor job that the cool adventurers had done in their recent appointment as town guard. An appointment they did not lobby for, uh, and only were given when most of the adventuring party was out adventuring. And the few that were there to receive it did it solely so they could escape execution. But now the beleaguered and much maligned adventuring party were stretched so thin that they were at a near breaking point. Most of the adventurers were at the farthest reaches of the territory, putting out rebellions, dealing with disputes, while all the while, the few that remained in Oakvale proper dealt with the ever-growing frustration of a people that did not want them to do a job that they did not want to do. And so, the cool adventurers gathered down in the tavern itself to a morning of cold mead and cold meal as Ode himself made his way through the crowd and the door, slamming it behind him. I just don't know what we're going to do about this. I don't know why every time I suggest that, like, we abolish the idea of a guard system entirely in favor of, like, everybody chilling out and, like, you know, listening to my music, I don't understand why they don't like that. Well, it's just because it's this, there's still threats, Nyla. But, like, they could help sell my new record, and that could be, like, a, a unifying thing for the town, you know? Common people are ruled by fear. They can't defend themselves like we can, and so they rely on stronger people to keep them safe from threats, whether real or perceived. See, we can just do whatever we want, because who's going to stop us with the regular people? <laughs> uh, you know. Oh, McDuffie, I, I, I'm gonna. I don't think. Am I the only one think maybe? Um, that seems like we've kind of stratified ourselves into like a second, higher state of being in which we are like above them. Is that is what is what we are discovering? That's correct. Yes. Well, I, that does not I, make I, me I, comfortable I, at all. That in fact makes me very uncomfortable. Well, McDuffie, we're we're famous. That's kind of part of the deal. Man, I never had these problems when I was a rosebush. Right, but you also just like 
ate the sun and nutrients from dirt. That's much less fun than need it. I, I mean, yeah, that's true. Of course. But sunlight is actually very refreshing and kind of citrusy. Maybe. Hang on. Right. So they gave us this job. Maybe if we do a little situation, a little setup, you know, like maybe put some people around that are, are, are not the best and then have our butts actively get kicked by these bad guys, then maybe, like, you know, it's all theater. You know, I, I love the theater. If we set all this stuff up, then they'll just stop bothering us about guard positions and just assume we're incompetent. Uh, <laughs> At the end of the bar, two orcs sit. You look and recognize one as Stumpy, the former dungeon master under the garrison, and the other as Bill, the old guard commander. Everyone knows you're incompetent. Hey, Since hey now. Oh, no, no, by all means, go ahead. That is like a dickhead thing to say. Stop saying it. How many uh, thieves' guilds were established here in Oakvale when I was guard captain? Is it true? None that I've heard of. Yeah. Yeah. How many thieves' guilds are established now that you gents are in control? Nothing that I'd heard of. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. And also, really, by definition, if a thieves' guild is good at what it does, how would you know of their existence? I was just going to say that. Right? Uh, like, it's kind of a dilemma. It's like, uh, uh, like if there's a, like, we don't know if there's a ninja that lives in all of our houses, but they're just such a good ninja, you just never catch them. McDuffie, so really, don't say that. That's just so stressful. That's stressing me the hell out. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get there with you, Snarla. You know, oh, just God. It's, it, it kind of, it bakes the noodle. Uh, uh, look, look, if there's a thieves guild running amok and there weren't any while you were guard captain, just be guard captain again. I mean, like, it's so easy. That's not how it works. We can't be guard captain. You were appointed by the justice. But why is that how it works? Because that's what the elders decreed. The elders are appointed by the people. The elders appoint the justice. The justice appoints the law. The law administrates the law. That's how it works. That's how we keep, that's how we keep corruption out. I've always found my title of elders kind of confusing because, I mean, they never voted me in. Yeah, he's just old. I'm as old as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that guy's been around forever. Like, I and, think he's as old as dirt, like, literally. Yeah, like, I, I oh, feel definitely. like there's some primordial earth on him. I suddenly, think he is the, uh, primordial Suddenly earth. the door slams open, splintering, uh, uh, splintered wood shatters, screams are heard, chaotic noise uh, uh, as the crowd moves, ebbs and flows, uh, as they are thrown across uh, as they are thrown across the tavern, a giant, uh, a giant monster uh, lurches into the tavern and begins spewing fire all about everywhere. Uh, you see, it has the head of a lion with a goat uh, rearing from its back and the tail of a snake uh, whipping and biting. <laughs> uh, they're uh, riding atop it is a uh, is a uh, figure in black armor with a red mask and two daggers. She lowers her mask. I am Kira of the Sneaky Takers. Tonight, you die. Point point yes. of order. Point yeah. of order. Um, yeah. What's up? That was not sneaky. We all saw you come in very garishly. You've got an incredibly distinctive uh, mount. If you wanted to be sneaky, why didn't you just get like a horse? A horse blends in real good. Yeah, but, but they send didn't a letter. see me. They didn't see me at all. All the innocent people that are all injured and dead and- Oh, it has a question and you're being very- weird. Yeah, go right ahead, yes. Uh, Take your questions. Uh, Kia, is, is that uncomfortable being on the being on the Chimera, the, the chip? How is that pronounced? Is it Chimera? Chimera? Uh, I'm, I call it Bethany. 
Okay, Bethany. Is it yeah. uncomfortable being on a Bethany like that? Because I feel like the goat head has got to be like, move it. See, look, it's doing it right now. The yeah, well, I just, I kind of just put it between my legs. That just sounds awful. It's not the worst but thing I put it between my legs, so. Oh, oh. Snarla, no one wants that. <laughs> Question. Anywho, 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 uh, this is, this is a gift uh, from the Sneaky Takers. Uh, we stole a bunch of monsters out of the Leatherface Zoo and Curio Emporium, Why and we're we going to release that, them that guy. and kill a bunch of people. Uh, so like, but wait, uh, wait, wait! Wow. I have a yes. wait. No, I have a yeah. question. Okay. But yep. But why? I think I what? think Snarla had a question. I had a question a bit. Oh, back, I am so it's, sorry. It's, I didn't mean to cut you off, Snarla. I, 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 know I do a, that. I apologize. It, it's all good, you know. Uh, okay. Usually, I'm just blurting okay. stuff yes. out. Yes. Yes. Why did you take your mask off if you're sneaky? Like I can recognize your identity now. Oh, do you know who I am? You just said your name, Kyra. Yeah. Do you know where I live? I could look it up. Oh, you, you got a phone book? I do. Yeah, Ode's really old. He still has phone books. Yeah. You think I'm in the phone book? <clears throat> and she throws a smoke bomb and disappears. The chimera oh, no. immediately begins attacking the audience. Uh, the crowd of people outside, they begin screaming and running in terror. What do you do, Phylos? Uh, I, I, I whip my staff through the air and I, uh, in, in an arc, I, I, as a standard attack, I cast an, an arc of thunder uh, at the Chimera. All right, sounds good. That sounds, uh, did you say a standard attack? I did. All right, then let's roll a standard attack, baby. All right, that's a seven. Yes, an arc of thunder shoots across the sky, striking the Chimera directly uh, in the in the uh, goat's head on its back, dancing between the two horns of the goat. The goat shoots out thunder from its uh, mouth. Uh, it dances about uh, as it as it lunges forth, uh, kind of shaking on the ground. Uh, however, you take a step forward, springing a trap. Let's roll the trap die. In the tavern? Who traps a tavern? That's some shady business. Yeah. Oh, it's a double. That's a trap for everyone. Uh, suddenly, uh, a small, uh, a small paper appears. This trap was made by Jesse, the trap maker. Brought to you by the sneaky trappers. Yes, we trapped your tavern. Fuck you. Jesse! For six damage to everybody. Oh. Ah. Oh no, Phylos has been knocked out. Oh, Phylos has been knocked unconscious right off the bat. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That would make it Snarla's turn. Snarla, what do you do? Uh, well, I gotta stop it from stampeding around. So I'm going to, uh, with a special ability, cast uh, Earth Shakers with a song. Uh, Come on, shake, shake, shake that earth. Shake it till it rises like yeast in bread. That's the song in my head today. And then walls will jut up out of the ground around encircling the uh, beast so it doesn't go around killing more people. All right, that sounds like an arcana check. Let's roll the arcana check. We're gonna need to set that at 14 or better. That is an eight. Oh no! You've instead uh, built stone walls around the crowd, entrapping them with the Chimera. The Chimera lets out fire, and it begins. It begins toasting the crowd. Uh, more screams are heard. I just made an easy bake oven. That's not good. Uh, that that would spring a second trap. Oh, oh no! Let's roll the trap die. <laughs> Uh, the primary one was, oh, that's that's going to be Ode. That dice has exploded on Ode for six damage. Oh. Ode has been knocked out as well. Oh, no. Good night, sweet Ode. You've been knocked out. You have been knocked out. Uh, this one, uh, a little, uh, yes, the trap was, was a series of, uh, was a series of uh, spears that thrust into Ode pinning him against the wall. That's against uh, the Geneva Convention. 
as a confetti uh, firework exploded and it said, this trap brought to you by Hunter uh, of the Sneaky Trappers. We and gotta start eating out more. The confetti slowly fell down to the ground. That would make it. That would make it MacDuffie's turn. MacDuffie, what do you do? This has just gone all kinds of sideways. I'm gonna take those uh, that healing potion I got. I'm gonna pour some down Ode's throat, and I'm gonna pour some down Philo's throat, like evenly spreading them out, so that way you know they both stop being dying. Okay. Well, unfortunately, they are both uh, dying, and you need to stabilize That's them right. before you can give them a health potion. Then so I'm gonna who do would you like that. to stabilize? Who would you like to stabilize? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna stabilize. I'm gonna start with uh, Phylos because he is really the 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 the, the China teacup of the group. Okay, yes. Uh, all right. Well, then we are going to roll a medicine check and you are trying to stabilize him. So we need a 10 or better. Oh, 17 yeah. doesn't matter. You got a 17. You did great. Stab it in there. Yes. Yes. You grab a couple of berries and some mushrooms out of your pouch and you begin smearing them into the exploded burn wounds all over Phylos. Uh, he has now been stabilized, he is still unconscious. But in the next round, you will be able to give him that health potion. You will be able to give him that health potion. That would make it the Chimera's turn. What is the Chimera going to do? Let's find out. The Chimera is going to roll an attack. Let's roll the attack. <laughs> you can say that again. Aww. That's a 12. Oh, no. I think that hits both of them. Yes. All right. It's going to be a simple attack. Let's roll the simple attack. Two, the tail of the chimera, the snake head turns and begins spraying the venom on all of the sir, of all of the conscious, uh, uh, of the conscious, uh, cool adventurers, covering them in venom Ugh. for two points of damage. Yes. Oh, oh, it's so funny. We have so many things being piled up but there's no way to get them to the cool adventurers yet. What's going to happen? There's so many potions being piled up. Oh no! Oh, 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 but someone is not your friend because you've sprung another trap. Let's roll the trap die. That's doubles, that hits everybody. That's lights out folks. We have a total party knockout you hear the sound of the chimera roaring shooting fire and the sound of screaming as everything goes black the last thing you hear is the recorded message this trap brought to you by cj of the sneaky trappers yes we trapped the inn you stupid fucks <laughs> you awake several hours later bandaged wrapped and in a great deal of pain. Each of you have six health from the many health potions that have been provided to you. Standing before you is Yeti Vanetti, your lawyer, a large Yeti in a business suit. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, things aren't looking so hot, guys. Um, <laughs> you fucking, you, you think, Yeti, you think? What? Yeah, 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 so, uh, yeah, that chimera was, that, that chimera did a lot of damage, guys. Anywho, the, the, some, some called the Sneaky Takers stole all of my cousins. I'm sorry, what? The Sneaky, he hands you a note which reads, we stole your cousins, blame it on the cool adventurers. Jeez. Love the Sneaky Takers. Okay, okay, you know, normally I am not a violent person. I would like to try to solve things with, you know, negotiations and some reasonable common ground. But I want to find these fucking people and eat their fucking livers. Uh, me as well, but maybe something more like metal, like a heart. I think their liver, I don't want to get. No, livers, it, oh, liver tastes so good. Oh, does it's it? It's got, so, it's got so many nutrients. With some it's fava beans. Dense. Well, you know, it's a little on the nose, but you know, it, well, whatever I can get my hands on, I'll probably be a tiger at the time. So really, uh, it's it's all the insides are soft and tasty when you're a tiger. I have really an alternative proposal. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, why don't Why don't we just like go to a different town and like just start adventuring again? Be like this town has been taken by chimeras. Bye. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, Philos. Yeah, no, like, that's fine. You can pretend. Like, I I think we set to, like you know I've I, I, I'm trying to make a thing work here. You know. Well, and I like, mean, we could always go on tour, which is what I do whenever I need to run away from somewhere. That explains why you're always on tour. I'm always on tour, and I can do it again. We can do it right now. Guys, 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 I know we're just talking theoreticals here, but as your legal representative, I would like to point out that orc law clearly states that if guards leave their post, they are considered wanted men and will be executed. So uh, you have to wait. You have to wait till you are dismissed of your duty, which only happens when the justice dismisses you. Can they oh. just dismiss us because of incompetence at this rate and end the shame? Uh, yeah, the like justice I... is dead. Fuck! So then where's the new justice? Well, the elders are gathering to pick a new justice, but the people have to decide who are the justice's candidates. It's between well, old Tobias and 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 Brack, the young guy. Well, I'm an orc. Why can't I run? All right, I mean, I, I, oh, you want to be justice of Oakvale? You think that's a good idea? You think that's a good look? Well, I mean, that's just what you so want to do with your time? I just want to oh, be yeah, able I'm to pardon now. myself. Let me step down. Let me step down a town guard and let me be justice. I just want to be able to pardon myself. Is that so wrong? Uh, an orc steps out from behind Yeti Vanetti. <laughs> uh, hi, hi there. Hi. I'm. Uh, I'm. I've been nominated for justice. Uh, I have. I have. I have some uh, gift baskets. Uh, not everyone in the town hates you, so I just wanted to hand out these uh, health potions and uh, kind of talk to you guys, uh, guys and girls, for a little bit, if uh, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got. Make I got, the, I got uh, two health potions from Princess Evelyn there for anybody. Uh, so you can just uh, take them. Oh, uh, yeah. is that the is that the one Phylos that you is that the dragon you saved from the fire breathing children? It is, yes. She's very okay, yeah. rich. Very nice, very nice one. Yeah, I remember yeah. that was a good time. So there you go. Uh, and then uh, I got two health potions from Scotty the Scott. Scotty the Scott being a Scotty Scott 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 Scott. There you go. Uh, that's for anybody. Uh, I got I got a, a can of uh, chicken soup, two cans of chicken soup from Grandma. Oh. There you go, Ode. Those are for you. Man, uh, and grandma. then uh, then I got uh, two more health potions for Ode, and I got uh, two more health potions for uh, Philos. Well, I guess I'll take Scotty's. All right, there. Get, come on. Okay, uh, now now that, yeah, just to, sh- just to show not everybody in Oakvale, most hate you, not going to lie, most, uh, most hate you, uh, most hold you personally responsible for this scourge of crime and destruction. Uh, I also do, but, um, but I see an opportunity here. I see an opportunity uh, to use your incompetence to advance my political career. Uh, um, okay, at least appreciate your honesty there you know symptom of everything wrong with civilization like why is it so bad if I want to be the, the person that can pardon myself and that's like corrupt but this guy literally just like is also clearly corrupt but it's fine I, I don't hey, think hey, it's hey, fine hey, at all hey, personally hey, I want to build schools okay you okay? want to build propaganda schools probably Teach people the wrong messages. Where does that list in your in your in your hear me out? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear hear me out. 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 You are all adventurers. I believe you are capable of adventuring, right? Yes, offensive missions, not defense. Guarding seems to be outside of your purview. But I think you can take the fight to these sneaky taker bastards. Yeah, that's way more my style. I am not a fan of having to, like, uh, you know, prop up a status quo. That's not okay. a thing uh, I like. I actually, um, I did look up Kieran Zephon book, so we can just go to their place. Okay, uh, yeah. Hey, look at, look at him being proactive. 
Yeah. She's, you she's do lesbian? that, I'll spin it amongst my constituents and I'll say, hey, look at them. And here, and then I'll run on a platform that says, hey, well, I'll, I'll, I'll say service done. We'll put the old guys back in charge. You know, Bill and Stumpy, they want the job. That's half the battle, right? And yeah. like, why do I have a feeling you're about to ask us to do something unsavory? I'm just asking you to kill a bunch of bad guys, okay? Yeah, but you're a politician. It's never that simple. I it's just want to build schools. You say that. Private schools. They all say that. Yeah, it's probably private schools. Yeah. I, I got probably mind. funded by, like, local grain taxes. What kind of nonsense is that? Like, these yeah. poor farmers don't got enough of their own problems just trying to bring in their grain. Mm. Or it could be charter I'll tell you what. I personally have now a vendetta, and I am going to find and kill these people. Um, but, you know, like, not because of you. It's it's not really a quid pro quo. I'm running on this platform. I thought I would just let you know that I'm running on the platform of dismissing you of your duties, which old Tobias hates Snarla. He's running on the platform of killing you. If, if he's made justice, so... He Pick just doesn't poison. like the young people music. He's an old fart, and he needs to get over himself. He kind of doesn't like the fact that every time he sees you, you kick him and break his leg. Well, yeah. that too, but I mean, that's part of the young people music, you know? He just doesn't get it. How old and are you he's again? got very breakable Don't legs. Don't ever ask a woman that question. <laughs> yeah, that's rude. Okay, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Health potions, we love you. We love you. Mm -hmm. Do your job. And I will fire you. How's that sound? That sounds cool. great. I mean, personally, it seems like the others don't like you very much. You seem pretty great to me. I mean, the other, the other guys, he's conservative, so it's not really my my scene. But uh, yeah, vote blue, no matter who. There I mean, go. you got my vote. Let's do hey, it. You know, let's get back to normal. How about that? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Great. Great stuff. Great talk. Great talk. All right. Snarl, okay. I think uh, here's, a, here's two more health potions. Uh, this one's from my sister, Propylos. Here, This is from Lisa. Enjoy. Woo. I'm going to live forever. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, you are, buddy. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I'm Good just going to take one of those now because I'm still feeling a little under the weather. Yeah, me as well. Hope to get me back into my uh, full butt kicking capability mm. drinking those health potions yes you and snarla are restored back to full health you have many health potions jangling in your person what would you like to do now are you making your way to kira's house i mean i i'm gonna say two things i think i've been spending too much time as a big cat lately because i really want to go find that other politician guy and just eat him as well uh, I'm totally down whenever. Uh, McDuffie, I think you just need to take a deep breath. Just take a deep, just take a deep, deep breath. Let it out. And then if your anger is still there, then, then, uh, well, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. But personally, I think this is a bit overkill. Maybe, maybe killing a politician when we're not, I mean, we're actually killing a politician when we're not. Such good yeah, this sounds a lot more of like our style. This guy is running on a platform of killing us. Let's just get rid of him. The guy that wants to fire us is in him. Our work is done. I mean, but these, this lady's not going to leave us alone, though. Is that, is that the plan? plan? She's going to oh, keep bursting problem. through doors with continually more outrageous combinations of animals. What's next? A rhino with a, a cheetah for a butt? And, oh, like, yeah. and like three as McDuffie, as McDuffie says that he steps on a trap springing a trap let's roll the yeah. trap die who traps a hospital oh that's doubles that's doubles uh, yes the trap is a mechanical rhinoceros with the butt of a cheetah which crashes and explodes into everybody for six damage as it explodes confetti flies through the air falling on the ground saying this trap as well is also from hunter of the sneaky takers hunter, nah, nah, I'm coming after nah, you. Nah, 
I spent forty dollars on this. I got traps all night, you babies. Okay, bottoms up. Another potion. Uh, well, we gotta get Philo's first, and I'm going to, uh, as a um, stabilizing effort, I'm okay. going to cast sudden summon Chimera, which is the logical reverse of a Chimera. It's a nice soothing chime beast that stabilizes the wounded. Okay, yeah, that sounds like an arcana check. I will give it to you. So let's roll a 10. You need a 10 or better. Wouldn't the opposite of a Chimera be a, a, a remake? <laughs> That's a six. Oh no, you summon a Metronon. It is a loud uh, clanging monster that begins making noise. Uh, Phylos has now taken a death save failure. Oh. If he gets two more death save failures, he dies permanently oh you right. broke my hold, focus hold on let me just get guide let me i've done this plenty of times i'm gonna reach into my musty sack and pull out some things and i'm gonna jab them into the bleedy parts i've done this a million times oh this has got some gross. gops there so i'm gonna stabilize them okay yes chewing the Chewing the moss and mushrooms, you begin rubbing the concoction into Phylos's wounds. Let's roll oh, the nature check. It needs to be an eight or better. I'll smell that. That's bad. That's a 13. That is definitely an eight or better. Yes, Phylos has now been stabilized. He can be given a health potion and return to consciousness. And... Pour one down his uh his his dragon mouth hole. And I think we should all probably take another. We're going through our health potions quick, but I mean those traps are all hitting all of us, so we might as well. I'm really trying to figure out a way to how to avoid tripping more of them, but at this point, I don't I don't even know. They might have trapped the inside of my goddamn shoes. Hmm. Don't give them ideas. Shit. Well, at this point, yeah. Hey, Duffy, last time I was unconscious, I heard you call me the. The China Cup of the group. What was that? I'm sorry. I I, I couldn't I hear you. You were you were too busy being unconscious. No, Ooh, I... sick burn! Take one point of damage, Phylos. Don't look at me like that. I'll make it too. I was just no. I, I was just curious. Is that you? You mean because I'm fragile, not because I'm like rare and beautiful? Well, Phylos, I, I, I think you're all of those things. Can I mix a little bit of whiskey into my health potion just so I can kind of drown out what's happening here? As soon as Phylos drops one health point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will reach into my And camera. yes, you are burning through your health potions. By my count, you have burned through half of them already. Just a reminder, half. Health potions are buy one, get one free, guys, which is a great deal. Also, our test kitchen is going off like gangbusters. We've already killed four out of our six. They're a lot of fun, aren't they? Aren't we having a grand old time? Let's keep the train uh, going. Choo-choo! Also, thank you very much, Kira, for that big, bad, evil monster. That was a lot of fun. That chimera rocked the party. Let's see how they do now. So, heroes, are you heading over to follow Tobias, or are you heading down to Kira's house to follow the mystery further? We're heading to Kira's. We need to remove... We right. Phylos, you want to remove the symptom, not the cause. The cause is us. We need to change our behaviors. Shit. I think he's right. Well, if there's any reason why my original fans love me, it's because I haven't changed in, like, my entire career. So I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> Let's go to Kira's, though. <laughs> you know, so there's two I... things we can do to make sure that this guy gets elected and we get fired as guards. One, kill the competition, a sickly old man with a broken leg, or two, take on a thieves guild that has chimeras, and all three of you are voting for take on the chimeras. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel better, Philos, we can kill the old guy on the way back. How's that for a compromise? That seems like senseless murder. Yeah, that, that's no good. We, we can't kill him. We can. We well, can I don't just know. Kill I, him. I think... Phylos, the real reason why I'm voting the real reason why I'm voting Thieves Guild is because I just really like 
tough ladies who attack us with big monsters. Okay, there, there. You got the, you got to the core of what I why I voted. Now let's go kill the thieves guild, and maybe I get that girl's number. Well, I mean, I guess that's a different way to resolve the problem. But if make love not war, I guess potentially, if she's up for it, we could we could probably get coffee or something. Well, don't sell yourself, you know, short snar. Like you're like a famous musician person, apparently. So you know, yeah, uh, an orc passing by. Snarla is that game. Snarla Blastwind? Ah, uh, yes, it is. See? I thought you retired. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm still going. Oh, hi, oh. uh, I'm Baxter. Here's two health potions. Oh, tight. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow, you really hold up for a lady of your age. Oh, buddy, I would, I would just not. I would just, I'd just move along. It was nice to see you. Good, have a good day. Yeah, we go. demand better. We no. demand better. No, yeah, you should just go before she like. And so the cool adventurers make their way, following the address listed as Kira's house, finding not a house but instead Leatherface cobblers and shoes the residence and business of one do leatherface a cool adventurer no that makes sense yeah, yeah. that makes a hundred percent sense <laughs> yeah that i mean like he he is an effective killer um but i think that's because he's a psychopath it actually you know if we're going if we have to kill someone i i'm just saying Oh, are you letting something personal flare out in there? I think no, I hear that. This, I think I hear that in there. Personal, this is this is a mix. Like, it's a mixture of my personal feelings, but also it is uh, if you want to use like philosophy, this is for the greater good. <laughs> well, I suppose your intentions here are dubious. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, that was, that yeah, that's that a bad right. pun. Go ahead and give yourself uh, two points of damage for ow, that ow, one. Ow, ow, ow. Mm, my, told you, my you gotta be careful when punning. The, the comedy gods are not kind. No, we are not. <laughs> All right, what do you do? Well, I think we gotta go inside and, uh, you know, maybe uh, kick someone's ass up through their ears. Go All me. right, make... Mac Duffy makes his way to the door as Ode begins knocking on it, springing another trap. Uh, a crossbow drops down from the uh, from the roof and begins firing. Let's roll the let's roll the trap die. Two, two is going to be Snarla. So that's ah. six to Snarla. Oh. Uh, the, the crossbow bolts slam into Ch Snarla's chest for six points of damage. Ow! Oh, God. A little a little note rolls out that says, this trap brought to you by Hunter of the Sneaky Takers. Hunter, I'm going to kill you. <sighs> you know, you gotta, you, you almost have to applaud them for the artistry of, of just the creativity of where they're putting these things. At this point, I'm... I'm less mad and more thoroughly impressed. Another fair, one down the trapping, hatch. Like, trapping the walk up to your secret hideout's a pretty obvious place for a trap. I feel like we maybe should have inspected for them before walking up to it, given our history of springing traps. You know what, Phylos? That is, that's a damn good idea. That is a damn good idea. And that sprung another trap! <laughs> Let's roll the trap, guys. <laughs> That is a three. That hits Phylos. Phylos has been knocked out. Oh, talk, talk smack, learn something. Okay. Talk smack, learn something. A uh, 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 spring shoots out and stabs Phylos in the back with a dagger. A note drops out saying, talk smack, learn something, Phylos. This trap brought to you by Hunter of the Sneaky Takers. Hunter! Man, okay. So uh, okay, I got to see this one. How many traps has you been now? Okay. Uh, you are you gonna do the Healy thingy? Yeah, I, I was gonna do the I was gonna do 
Go ahead, old. You you know you, okay. you got the experience. I was gonna do a poultice like you, but you know I'm I'm gonna do my thing. Just, yeah, by all I means. I don't want I don't want to walk on your coattails. So, oh no. Uh, old old just pops out. You know he grabs some grandchildren that are just hanging out in the beard, and he just plays. <gasps> Okay, Kitty Vinks. Uh, uh, who wants to get their surgery, the surgery badge? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Excellent, excellent. Okay, here's here are little knives. You go to town. Oh, okay. Right, that sounds like a medicine check to me. Uh, the small dwarvish child begins quickly scurrying to Philos's back and begins rapidly sewing up the wound. Let's roll a medicine check. We're going to need a fourteen or better. That's a seven. No, unfortunately, are not ready for this merit badge. They are not ready for this merit badge. This counts as a death save failure. If Ilos gets two more, he will die permanently. Stop letting children work on me. I'm sorry, pup pup. I'm sorry. No, he's Duffy, you are the only person who knows what he's doing when it comes to people just do it all right fine i'll, 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 get, I'll on get on this hold on do your, do your gross <laughs> cud again, again and hey, get hey, hey, hey mystical it's mystical moth, moth and moss and, moss and, and dragon fire root, root. Thank, thank you very, very much. much also uh poppy, uh, poppy. It looks like it looks, looks like, like it looks like cud. I'm sorry. I'm it sorry. Just it just looks like grass. wet grass. We gotta, we keep, gotta re keep re chewing it and using it. That's how it works. Just gotta plug that into the hole in his back, back there. He smears the cud uh, across the open wound in Philos's back. Let's roll the nature check. We need a ten or better. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no, that's a six. That is the second death save fail. If Phylos gets one more death save fail, that is curtains for our wyvern wizard. It is up to Snarla. Snarla is the only person who can perform a medicine check. Oh, no! Um, uh, hua, hua. Snarla. Uh, Snarla. Snarla. Sing, sing me that song I love. <sighs> okay. You got it, buddy. And I will summon the Brutal Legend to assist me in this medicine check. Or okay, whatever. Okay, the performance Brutal Legend. Check. And I'm going to say, sing a song to heal. Okay. Thylos, you are so nice though. And I know that a lot of people think you're a bit rough around the edges, but you're fine to me. You're a good friend to me. Even though you were a vampire meanie, I still think that you are so chill, my Philos. Yeah, I'm going to say that counts. We're going to do an arcana check, and we're going to set the check at six. So you need a six or better. I swear to God. I swear to the celestial kitten. I swear to math itself. That is an eight by, oh, ooh, ooh. That is an eight. Phylos, you lucky, lucky, leathery. <laughs> wyvern bastard by the grace of the celestial kitten you have been spared you are stabilized Ooh. someone get that wyvern a health potion drink up motherfucker phylos you are not allowed you are down to, to seven health potions by my count well i'm gonna down take to another seven. one of those because i did i don't think i healed <laughs> so you are down to six health potions by my count oh. I, impossible oh. to overdose on health potions because i feel weird I have never yes, overdosed to find out, on anything. Apparently. Phylos, you notice uh, there is now a, a small mechanism at the door. Uh, uh, the door kind of opens slightly, and a package comes out that says, For Phylos, Heart, the Sneaky Takers. No, oh, thank you. No. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't trust that shit, man. How do they keep fucking building traps into everything? All right, okay, I've got an idea. Hang on, Hold hang on. on, hang on. Just, what? Does it say from the Sneaky Takers or does it say love the Sneaky Takers? It says love the Sneaky Takers. In the don't, open. don't, it's Philos, that's, no, no, oh, sweet crap. All right, Philos, you open the package and you see an old rusted can of paint, empty, 
uh, except for some small sand damage in it. Suddenly you are flooded with memories of a long trek made and a disastrous uh, battle that happened halfway through a desert many years ago and a friend lost midway somewhere in that desert. You have been gifted an epic weapon, Phylos. That's right, you've been given an epic weapon. You now have been given a additional 1d6 to any attack you make, as well as a 1d6 to any uh, check that you make. It will not help keep you alive from those traps, but it will make you a little stronger in everything else. In addition, there are two health potions. Uh, they read from Danny because of Michael. Okay. That feels Phylos, like it means something. What the actual fuck is going on here? It seems like these people know you. What's going on? Suddenly, here, suddenly, everything beneath you uh, quickly is pulled away, and you fall several stories mm -hmm. into a yeah. sewer-like. I turn uh, into opening. a flying squirrel. Okay, you turn into a flying squirrel. Let's roll a nature check. Yeah, we need a twelve or better. No, he just turns into a squirrel. It's just a nature check. And that's a natural 20. Where would you like to go, McDuffie? Oh, I'm just going to slowly descend so I don't fall and hurt myself. No, sir. You can go wherever you like. Oh. Okay, perfect. That's fair. I'm going to, like, be going down, and then I see there's, like, an air duct, and I just, like, do that, like, whole thing and smash through it and fly and tumble and it kind of hurts. It's not terrible, but it's a pain in my neck. And then I just kind of like, bah, 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 bah. and then I look down and there's a grate and it goes into a room and there is that lady right there. Pants down, taking a poop. Got the drop on her. Kira? Mm hmm All right, we'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and close yourself out. <laughs> Everyone grab on to me. The grab three of you me. fall, yes. What do you do? He spread out his matted, matted hair and catch the breezes like a flying squirrel. <laughs> like a that filthy, can... filthy flying squirrel. All right, Phylos is going to feather fall. It's, uh, that's a special ability. Go ahead and roll the special ability check. With 2d6, I'm counting your epic weapon. With 2d6, 13, yes, you gingerly float down. Snarla, what are you doing? Are you grabbing onto Ode and his gross beard? As a uh, as, as a um, persuasion check, I'm going to flirt with an air nymph nearby and basically go, hey, babe, I, I, I know it's a little last minute, but uh, we, we could have a real good time with each other if you could just help my descent here. And, you know, I, I think, I think like we could, you know, I could write a song about you. Okay, yeah, uh, that... That's going to, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a persuasion check. We're going to set that one at 24. Good luck. Oh, fuck. No. I'm not going to. Just roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, it's a four. <laughs> Snarly, you fall, smash it into the ground, taking four points of damage. I fucking hate it here. Uh, Ode, uh, that, that's a gross beard ability? That sounds like a special ability to me. Your beard is gross and special. Uh, yeah, let's roll a special ability check. I am gross and special. 16, yes! Your beard balloons up like, uh, like a parachute and you slowly descend down. As you do, you see, uh, the three of you, Snarla, as you rise up, the three of you see a figure sitting in a chair. Uh, the chair has several uh, whirling mechanisms, gears, uh, springs, and all kinds of other mechanized death dealing devices atop it. Uh, he, is, he is an orc uh, with scars across his body. He rises and he goes, hello. Wait. My name is Hunter, the trap maker, and you have unlocked the test kitchen reward. Can we wait just one you second? You will fight. The, wait, wait, what? Okay, I one just, second. I just gotta, I gotta, and I pop down another healing potion really quickly. Oh yeah, you're gonna need it. Mm, yup. All right, go ahead and heal yourself. And you must fight me, the trap master, to the death. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We have done it. We have hit our quota for the test kitchen and we have sprung the Naughty Trap reward, which is a big, bad, evil monster. And because my brother is a horrible human being, he has been selected as our big, bad, evil monster. Thank you so much, Hunter. You are the trap tonight, the trap master. Uh, the way this is gonna work is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's get things started with the Trap Master. He is going to fire his first round of traps, so let's roll those trap die. That's a two. Two is uh, Snarla, if I remember correctly. Yes, two is Snarla. So that is six to Snarla. A uh, flamethrower drops from the sky and begins shooting fire across the entire arena. Great. Great. <laughs> that would make it Snarla's turn. Snarla, what do you do? You, I've got fucking beef with you, <laughs> specifically. Uh, and I'm going to bring out the brutal legend and sing a metal song as a power attack that is so powerful that it melts his brain. Okay, bring it on, baby. Hunter, you didn't have to be such a stunter. And I think that all that shit you do is really pissing me off when all the traps go off. They make me feel like a moth to a flame and I'm to blame but you're the one without fame fuck you hunter fuck you all right that sounds like a power attack to me let's roll those three d6 eight Eight damage is what you did from that song. Eight damage. Don't you yes. mock me, voice uh, of the sky. Has, Don't you a, mock me. I will mock you all day long, Snarla. Uh, <laughs> a small nosebleed begins to form. Ha 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 I only listen to rap. Now I know why. Uh, uh, Hunter the Trap Master jumps into a large mechanized uh, suit of armor, which begins marching towards you. Did I fail to mention that I'm also a programmer? I built this myself. And the, uh, the, the mechanized machine begins slamming against the wall. Uh, let's roll the attack. Seven. Oh, you are in luck. That hits nobody. Uh, it shoots arrows out from its arm. Do, 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 do. But they fly above everyone's head. That would make it Ode's turn. Ode, what do you do? Ode is going to do his best to keep Phylos alive for the rest of his fight. He's going to use his turn to defend Phylos uh, by just kind of, uh, he, he he's going to reach into his beard and pull out like a, a, a big length of picket fence and just <laughs> hook it up in front of Phylos. Sounds good. Yanking a big length of picket fence, he throws it in front of Phylos, protecting him for this round, making him immune to any damage including traps, which is perfect because guess what we just sprung? A trap! All right, let's roll the trap. Let's roll the trap die. Can we spring like a slinky or something next time? A four, a four is going to hit McDuffie. Duffy isn't here, so the trap springs. It's uh, spikes coming out of the ground, but they hit nobody. They hit nobody. Oh, yes, even I can be kind from time to time. Moving on, that would make it Phylos' turn. Phylos, what do you do? I learned this spell from an old friend. It is a power attack. Wave my staff through the air. And I turn Hunter into glass. Ooh, let's roll the power attack. Oh, we lost one. Ooh, 15, yes! The spell charges towards Hunter and begins to transform his mechanical armor into glass. He leaps from it as his uh, as his suit of armor uh, shatters and piles in the ground. He tumbles down, grabbing a gun, cocking it. He's like, I'm not done yet. And he turns 
uh, ready for round two. That would mean a time for more traps. Let's roll them trap die. That's a one. One is done. That's owed. Owed. Oh no, owed. You take six points of damage. Uh, a large brick falls from the sky, smashing into your head and then lifting back up. <laughs> Take that, you old dwarf. What? I said, he's take a... that, you old dwarf. Eh. He's an old man. That's horrible of you. That's really hurt. That would make it Silas turn. Starla, what are you going to do? I'm going to just, you know what? I'm leaving the bard at the door. Apparently, my bard abilities aren't really serving me. I'm going to bring the orc out. I'm going to take the axe end of Brutal Legend and run up and try to rend him in twain with a standard attack. Ooh, all right. Let's roll that damage. All right. Let's roll that standard damage. 2d6. <laughs> That's four. Aw, how cute. How cute, Snarla. Yes, you slice into him and a small, a small paper-like cut forms across his chest. Seriously? Oh. I haven't. I guess I a woman of your age, you know, yeah, you start to lose your strength. <laughs> I'm not even that old. Oh, okay, tell that to your Wikipedia page. Alone. Oh, 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 oh! I guess it's time for me to spring another tra 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 trap. Another trap has been sprung. Let's roll that trap die. That's one that's gonna hit Ode again. Oh no, another brick falls from the sky, <laughs> striking Ode, knocking him unconscious. Okay, Ode first has been of all, everyone, out. Needs to, everyone needs to leave style on the Oh no! Oh. Oh, Ode has been knocked out. That would make it Hunter's turn. Hunter is going to cock his gun <laughs> and aim it at the party, firing. <laughs> Let's roll the attack. That's a two, it's gonna hit nobody. Uh, the the pellets fly, bouncing off of everything. He's not a very good shot. He should have stuck to archery, uh, maybe even golf, who knows. He's really All good right. at traps, he's got his thing. He's got his thing, his thing is traps. All right, <laughs> that would make it. Phylos is turned, Phylos, what do you do? As a standard attack, I'm going to call down from the ceiling a pillar of flame to engulf Hunter. Okay, let's roll the standard attack with 3d6. <coughs> Ooh, nine points of damage. Yes, you envelop Hunter in flame. Ah! He drops his gun and begins running around wildly. He tries to grab for a trap, accidentally springing a trap on himself. A spear rips through his gut. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. Yeah, they heard. It would seem that that the hunter has become the prey. Bad pun detected. Bad pun detected. That was a good one. No. Pun trap sprung. Three rounds until room explodes. Ah. You have three rounds until the room explodes. What would you like to do? First thing I would like to stabilize Ode with a. Song. All right, let's roll a stabilization check. Uh, and I just basically, as a nice little compliment to stabilize, I say, "Come on, man, you're my Ode to joy." Ooh, you're playing, you're playing with fire there, Snarla. You're but it's a sweet one. It's All awesome. right, let's roll. Let's roll. I'm going to give you a straight 10. You got to get 10 or better. Ah, no! Comedy gods are not on your side. That was a three. That's his first death save fail. He gets two more. He dies. Phylos, it's your turn. Two it rounds can't. until the room explodes. No, it's still three rounds. We're still good. Go, Phylos. Uh, I cast uh, a minor heal uh, on 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 O to stabilize him. A, a healing spell of of healiness. You can't use a healing spell on someone who has not been stabilized yet. You have to be stabilized first. Then I cast a stabilization spell on him. 
Okay, that's gonna be a medicine check and you're gonna need to roll a 10 or better. That's a 19, well done. You need to have more confidence in yourself, Philos. Plus you got that epic weapon. You had a 1d6 bonus to it. All right, yes, Ode has been stabilized. Snarla, get that man a health, get that dwarf a health potion. Glug, 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 glug. All right, you are down to five. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Two rounds until this room explodes. What would you like to do? All right, I don't normally do this, but I hop on my back and I can fly us back out that thing we dropped out. But what about McDuffie? He's, he obviously didn't fall down here with us, so he's probably fine. Yeah, where did he go? Oh, uh, well, no time. Let's go. Okay. Phylos extends his wings out and begins flying out of the room, flying into the air as the grate begins to close above, making his way out just as the room explodes, a plume of fire shooting through the air, cutting back to McDuffie. McDuffie, you, st- you crawl directly above Kira as she sits on the toilet, reading a newspaper. <laughs> what is this vent made out of? Uh, the vent is made out of of tin. Okay, so it's not very load-bearing. No, not really. No, 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 not terribly load-bearing. Okay, so um, I am going to turn into a very tiny gnat. I use my druid shape-shifting abilities, and I turn into a, a little gnat, and I fly down, and I, and, I, and I fly behind her so she doesn't see me. And okay. I fly, and I fly in, I fly just... Just I just wait for her mouth to open, ah, and I fly in. Okay. And I'm gonna fly. That's I'm gonna be a dexterity check. All so right, we're gonna let's roll see how a that dexterity works. check. We're gonna need a fourteen or better. That is a nineteen. Well done. You did not get smushed. You did not get chewed up. All right. So, <sighs> hop, and then I'm in, and then I, I I'm gonna just get to the back of the throat, just here in the back of the throat. Right there, right there. Mm-hmm. Find a nice comfy spot. Uh-huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find that kind of, you know, that like there's that bit in the bottom of the skull where the thing comes in and it's kind of like a soft point there. Yeah. I'm just gonna point my nose there. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my druid powers to shape shift into a rhino. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a nature check. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, that's going to be a nature check. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Ten or better. Well, we'll make it easy for you. Ten or better. That's a ten <laughs> by the skinnier teeth. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Kira sitting on the toilet immediately explodes as an enormous rhinoceros erupts from inside of her body, slamming, crushing the uh, crushing the toilet she was on, crashing through the door of the loo that she was in, tumbling uh, down the hallway. Uh, you are now tumbling uh, down uh, into the into the dungeon which composed the thieves guild. Uh, how would you like to stop yourself? Simple. I just uh, transform into one of those, uh, like you know those tiny uh, lizards with the big, uh, with like the frilly bits. I just turn into one of those and like, poof, use that as like a parachute to help slow me down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be another nature check. We're going to roll a nature check. This one is going to be at fourteen or better. Little right. trick here, surprisingly. That's a oh. two. Nope, you have turned into a whale, a blue whale. Uh, so uh, you, uh, you... Uh, the the wood structure uh, was not designed to support your weight. So uh, the the surrounding stone has collapsed kind of around you uh, for for damage. Okay. As you shift back into human form, uh, the the uh, the tunnel collapses completely, uh, blocking off uh, your way back to wherever you were. All right. Well, that's a problem solved. But now I guess a new problem presents itself. Very much so. 
Meanwhile, back on the street in front of Leatherface, Cobbler and Shoemaker, we find Philo, Stella, and Ode. You oh, smoke yeah. steaming yeah. from the door. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try it again. Do me! Doobie! I remember very specifically Doobie in his usual awful way. Like, I didn't even ask. He's like, I'm going out of town on business. And then he like waved his scissors around. I don't like that, but it, he's, I know he's not here. That was a good Doobie impression. Thank you. I, I, I was going to be an impressionist before I was a singer. Does Doobie have children? I don't, I don't really listen to him when he speaks. Oh, I hope not. Well, okay, I'm using your spare key, Doobie. I'm using your spare key. Uh, old reaches under like a potted plant near the entrance and pulls out a key made out of leather. That doesn't sound All right. effective. Yeah. Key. Yeah. Pulling out a Pulling key out made, out, key out, made out, out of leather, you slide, you slide it into, it into the door. The door. Uh, uh, opening, the opening the door effortlessly, the door springs open. Uh, once the door opens, you see there are several traps built into the door that I do not door. spring. I, I close the door. No, 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 it's fine. The only way to open the door without springing the, springing the trap is to use the leather key. Oh, I open the door. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, you see the large, empty uh, cobbler and shoe shop. Uh, many shoes, leather boots, and other leather work items. A large portrait of uh, Doobie uh, hangs on the wall with red paint smeared across it saying failure. You know why they probably came here? It's because all thieves wear leather. Uh, That's probably why. They're always going around and like, ooh, I got my fancy leather armor. It's they are kinky. Bull crap. But what if they just knew that he was out of town and they knew he was a cool adventurer, and so well, then why would they, like us. Why would yeah, they write failure on the thing, though? Why do be? We've been very bad jokes. Do you think, wait a minute, this Thieves Guild, do you think they're associated with, you know, the people that made us guards only to get mad at us? Maybe, maybe this, this, this Kyra, Kira, is Doobie's daughter, and he was a failure at raising her to be a nice young lady. That could be it. So now she runs a Thieves Guild out of his basement dungeon, where he keeps his leather sources. What the fuck are you doing in my house? I knocked like three times. <laughs> the stairway. <laughs> I, hey, hey, man. Get out of here before I, I set off these traps. I swear to God, I've, there's so many Wait, traps Doobie. in my home. Wait, Doobie, there's, there's a thieves guild in your house. Yeah, I know. What? I run a thieves guild. Doobie. So vis a vis killing Doobie. Get the hell out of my house. Get off my property. What are you doing here, Ode? You're not supposed to be here. And I said, I use your key. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll the trap die. Doobie. <laughs> That's doubles. That's doubles. That hits everybody. <laughs> We're all down. <laughs> That is knocked out! That is knocked out! The last thing you see is Doobie disappearing as he walks back upstairs, laughing to himself. As you are knocked out. Let's go back to Mac Duffy, as he is in the depths of the lair of the Sneaky Takers. Uh, Mac Duffy, Philos, turn your camera off. I'm unconscious. I know. No, you can multitask. <laughs> McDuffie, uh, after several hours of walking uh, through uh, winding corridors uh, with various uh, rooms full of junk, contraband, and stolen items, uh, you begin. But no one, no one in these facilities at all. You oh, hey, hold on, hold on. You're you're running over something there, there, man. Oh, I apologize. What manner of contraband are we talking about? Uh, drugs, uh, wines, uh, 
uh, vaccines, hot pants. Oh, yeah. After the great hot pants thing with the Church of the Celestial Kitten, that was a really weird decision to come down from the Celestial Kitten Pope that hot pants were a sin. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, I'm going to get a bunch of the stuff that's flammable and just pile it up and set it on fire and, and then just keep going. Okay. All right. There you go. You you begin to set stuff on fire. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yes, there there are fires. Yeah. All right. You I'm continue just, I'm, to walk. Yeah, I'm just, just lighting keep... fires as you're walking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, um, mostly I am uh, opposed to all of this, you know, um, like shady business, and also f- lady and her business. So like, I'm burning it to the ground. Um, but I feel like I'm underground. Can you burn things underground? I don't know how the phrasing on that works. Oh, I should probably stop talking to myself and find a way out of this fucking place. So uh, I'm, I'm a mysterious voice in the sky. I use my, uh, druidic powers to turn me into a, uh, a free tailed fruit bat with mm-hmm. their fantastic echolocation to find my way the fuck out of here. Oh. All right, sounds good. You quickly shift into a free-tailed fruit bat, and using your echolocation, you begin to make your way out. Let's roll a nature check. You need a 10 or better. Nope. No. You immediately get caught in the smoke that you yourself created, becoming disoriented, crashing into a wall for four points of damage. You fall to the ground, shifting back into your human form. Okay, that didn't work out. Mm. All right, no. so uh, I'm I'm going to do the thing that is smart here. But I don't know what that is. I drink a health potion. If you oh, have yeah. Yeah, I got some of those still, don't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. chug down one of those bastards. I, I take boys. two. You have four health. Oh yeah, I definitely get me back into a little bit more of a fighting prowess. Yeah. Oh, god, and they never make them that taste good. It always no. tastes like a fake grape. Yeah. You know what grapes taste like? What kind of shit are you trying to sell me? Hey, oh. I like artificial grape as a flavor. Okay, McDuffie, I like oh. artificial grape. I think it's a good flavor. You're welcome. I okay, fine, but like. You can't convince me that banana candies taste like bananas because they don't. They no one's like... trying to convince. There are no banana candies in this universe. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, how do I get the fuck out of here? Hmm. Okay. I am going uh, to turn into a dog uh-huh. and and try to catch the, the scent of fresh air and follow it out. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right, you shift into the form of a dog and begin sniffing uh, for fresh air. Of course, uh, given all the smoke that you yourself created, this is going to be a bit challenging. So let's set the check at 14. That's a natural one. Uh, Yeah, you run directly into the smoke, which takes you directly into the fire. Oh, hey, there's a fire here. Yeah, which gives you uh, six points of damage for running directly oh, into Jesus. fire. That's, oh, God, that is not good. Oh, I fucking hate this place. Ugh. All you, right. You tumble out of the fire, shifting back into your human form. If I remember correctly, you had four health potions. You took two. Mm-hmm. You have two left. Yeah. What would you like to do, McDuffie? Well, I'm definitely going to take one of them, bad boys. And then uh, I guess. Hmm. Okay, that leaves is you that- with one left. Is there an obvious way out of this place? Well, as I was saying, you hear voices finally after several uh, minutes of walking alone. And you begin to follow the voices to what appears to be a large room. The large room is circular with several animals in cages Uh, that enable you to hide behind them. You see several figures dressed similarly to Kira wearing the masks. Uh, They appear to be different orcs and other races as well. Uh, And you notice there are several people who appear to be bound and gagged in the center of the room. What would you like to do? Uh, The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... What what is the closest animal that is caged near me? All right. That is a large creature with white fur. 
It is a Yeti. Oh, you're not an animal. You're a Yeti. Hey, Yeti, what's up, dude? No, all of all no, of the Jesus figures Christ. turn and look at you or look at the Yeti. What's going on over there with that Yeti? I'm going to turn into a spider. <laughs> OK, you have effectively turned into a spider. Let's roll a stealth check. Let's roll a stealth check. We need a 10 or better. That's a three. McDuffie. I saw, I, we saw, we all, we all saw you turn into that spider. No, I'm spider Duffy. I don't know what you're talking about. No one can hear you when you're in spider form, man. For, I turn back into a human. Who is talking to me? Uh, one of the uh, figures steps out and pulls down the mask. It is an orc woman. I am Deck, the leader of the sneaky takers. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, then I must have killed someone else. I apologize. Who did you kill? I don't know. Some lady made her head explode open. I think it was Kira? Kara? Oh. That one? Yeah. Kira? She tried to kill me. What do you want? We're all trying to kill you. Why? <laughs> It wouldn't make sense to you. Yeah, clearly you're trying to kill. Like you could like rationalize it. Is there something that I'm doing? Look, there doesn't need to be violence here. We can like work this out. You know, it's been a real disappointing evening. Um, we had this whole thing planned. Uh, Dr. Attitude. Uh, one of the oh hey doc it's good to up. see you hi he jumps out and does a flip and takes a takes an action pose he wears a red outfit and has a cockatrice in his hand with a cap on its head ha 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 i am dr attitude and i would have defeated you with my cockatrice and and fight club uh, hi i'm i'm fight oh, hey. club and i'm a necromancer and and i had a bunch of zombies Whoa, hey, man, that's unnatural. That's not cool. Don't be, like, bringing dick corpses back. I mean, I can see the utilitarian argument. Fuck you! Uh, you and me got personal beef that that, that would have been revealed in our fight, but we never got the chance. And well, what's he's our pushed personal out of the beef? way by a beautiful woman with a long uh, staff. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm a warlock, and I would have turned those zombies that you beat into skeletons which would have been like cool because you would have to fight him again. But now you don't get to. And then two brothers step out and they go, hi, we're the Barnacle Boys, Brandon and Burns. And you won't get to fight us either. And we had a super cool a flesh golem and his name was Franklin, but you'll never get to see it. No, you won't. Hi, yeah, I'm Pitbull and I'm Snarla's, I'm Snarla's mother-in-law. Uh, back when she was married to Steven, who was a throwaway character in, in one of the, one of the episodes, he died, but I was going to get revenge on her. I had a Kraken. I had a Kraken, McDuffie. But you, you all spent, spent the whole episode upstairs, not even bothering to come down. Guys, look, I, I think, I think our problems here. Uh, Hags uh, crawls out. Yeah. And I'm Mama Jackson. And I had a bunch of alligators. And they all oh. have straw hats on their head. Mama Jacks, uh, Mama Jackson, I told you that we were finished. It was a nice thing. There were five of the most beautiful years of my life. But you gotta, you gotta quit showing up. You know what? You just gotta quit. Like, why like, won't I get, you we can still be letters. friends? We can why still won't you be return friends. my letters? But, well, these, we, gal for, these alligators are your babies. They're okay. your babies. Yes, I am aware of that. But also, when I am their father, I am an alligator. Enough! Right. Deck takes control of the situation again. Deck, look. There is no need for this to devolve into insanity. Okay, look. Come here. F come with me. All of you, follow me. Come on. Follow me. All of you. No, come on. no, come no, 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 no. No, there will be no following. What? We've Why not? Beaten, we've beaten you. As you can see, these are your cool adventurer friends. They are unconscious, on the ground, bleeding to death. Yes. So this, wait, okay, Mama, was this all about uh, about the fact that like it didn't work out? 
is that what this is really about? Because I like told- I, I, I'm not gonna lie, stop, these were some. You had your leaders. chance. You had your chance to know what this is about, but now it has to wait for another adventure. That's what you get. That's what you get. And here's what else you get. What was your job, McDuffie? Not your job specifically, but what was the cool adventurer's job? Um, I think by definition, as adventurers, were uh, mercenaries. Your guards. Well, no, I never agreed to be a guard, and nor do I intend to prop up the status quo. Well, tell that to all the people that you forgot to protect while we were destroying the city. Ba 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 ba! Sneaky takers out. They throw smoke bombs and all of them disappear. Suddenly there are loud explosions from upstairs as Snarla, Ode, and Phylos awaken. Those guys had some real circular logic going. Like real circular logic. Like they were destroying the town because we were bad at fixing it. That's some stupid nonsense. Come on guys, wake up. Uh. Between the four of you, there is a small box. And on the box, there is a small letter open to where you can all read it. This Once, the town of Oakvale was unprotected. And then Phylos stole another man's dream. The sneaky takers have returned the scales of justice back to where they belong and have stolen Oakvale from Phylos. And then the box explodes. Let's roll them trap die! Guys, we should have just gone on a fucking tour and never come back to this podunk piece of shit. That's a three. That's going to be on Phylos, which means Phylos is knocked out. What will happen to Phylos? Will Phylos ever make it out of this adventure alive? Will the heroes ever be able to quit their job as guard keepers? Who were the mysterious sneaky takers and all of their backstories? Will they ever be resolved? Will this adventure ever end? We'll find out next time on Hazards and Hijinks. But that's all we have for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us for the show. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking all the way to the very end. Oh my gosh, that test kitchen got out of control quickly. I think we had a lot of fun with them traps and we certainly had a lot of fun with them health potions. It was a blast. Thank you so much for all of you who have participated. This is our first uh, meat grinder. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of feedback from everybody in the audience in the thread. Please let me know what you think. Uh, You can talk to us at any time on our social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on everything else. Hit us up. Tell us what you think. Give us tips, tricks, anything you want to talk about. We're always there. We'd love to hear from you. Please follow us. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, we got the bindle. It's going to be great. We have musical guests. We have live performers. We have so much cool stuff. We have so much stuff coming up in April. It's going to blow your mind. So like, follow, subscribe. Keep it up. Thank you. We love you. You love us. Let's end with a huzzah. Three, two, one. Huzzah! Huzzah! Ow! Huzzah! Huzzah! Ooh! Did that, was that hard? Did that hard show? Mm. Ah, someone kill his brother. Someone <laughs> kill this man's brother. Look <laughs> at that brother. Y'all had fun now. Y'all had fun. <laughs> the, 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 the... What is it? Blood of the Covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Kill his brother. <laughs> My neck hurts for real from all the time I spent being unconscious. I know. I I have a bad neck. (laughs) Gets so much worse from this. In terms of pain, I suppose you two are neck and neck. Snarla is permanently dead. (laughs) Cannon! Cannon! But the eel lives on. Yes. Don't worry, guys. I'm the next character. I would never. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. If anyone is still listening, I have big plans for the eel. Big plans for the eel. I miss my friend Michael. (laughs) I miss my friend Michael. God damn it. (laughs) Michael. It was all Philos' fault. That's that's the moral. Look. 
Look, Phylos, you may miss your friend Michael, but your friend Michael sure hasn't missed you. Like, he's hit every single time. Boom! 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 That's how you do it! Snarl is back! Yeah! <laughs> cannon! Cannon, I, I resurrected. You have a cannon? <laughs>